Hi, I'm Anthony from MAC. We uh, are suppliers and fitters of air conditioning units, domestic and commercially. We're going to demonstrate the installation process of an air conditioning unit in a domestic property. MAC, we use three manufacturers. The three manufacturers are Mitsubishi, Daikin and Toshiba. I wanted to discuss how we actually carry out the installation and the time that it takes to do the installation to take some of the worry out of, of what's got to be done from an individual point of view. The office will give you a day and a time allocation so you know when to expect the engineers. The engineers will turn up with the equipment that has been specified for your particular room for the kilowatt rating etc. They will unbox the equipment so you can see that you've got the right equipment and the right colour that you've requested. They will also go over what, they, what they're going to be doing throughout the day. As we would have already visited your property and gone over the some of the installation criteria, the engineers will run through that process again uh, to ensure that there is no, no issues with, what, with what's to be expected. We will put dust sheets down so we don't get any carpets or any bedware or any sofas dirty. Um, we'll also uh, take shoes off in these areas so that there's no issue for straightening any debris through the property. Um, any, any doors that we'll make sure they're closed behind us so none of your animals escape. And we'll just go through the detail of, of what you, what's to be expected throughout the day. The air conditioning units can be installed on an internal wall or an external wall. An internal wall, the unit will require a pump. Uh, the pumps are there to remove the condensate out of the unit in summertime when the units are, are, on, uh, are likely to be on cooling mode. Uh, the pumps sit either internal or external to the unit. So if you was to have the unit on an external wall, we could core drill a 65 mil on straight through the wall. As a result of that, there'll be no need to have a condensate pump. We could actually gravity the condensate down to ground. The, going back to the pumps, the pumps are actually very, very quiet, so they, they won't wake you up should they be in your bedroom. Uh, and they're, they're discreetly hidden within some trunking that comes out the side of the unit. The uh, pipe work wall outside, there are a couple of options. All the pipe work is in black armor flex, which is just an, insta an installation over the pipe work to stop any sweating from the pipes. And the communication cable is also running black. So it is in black, but you can upgrade to have trunking externally. And it's 75 mil with the edges tapered. So it's a nice slick trunking. And the trunking will go from the hole externally and run across the exterior of the property before finishing at the condenser. The condenser is the outdoor bit that connects to the port work, which then also in turn connects to the indoor unit. The condenser is the opposite and reverse of the indoor unit. It's a box that sits outside at any level, either low level, mid or high. The box is waterproof, so there's no issues with covering the box up, whether it's, whether it's winter or snowy outside. They are designed uh, to run in all temperatures and all different weathers. They come in a variety of different sizes. Those sizes will change depending on the size and the kilowatt rating that, that's been selected for you for your particular room size. The units always come in a, a, a white, slightly offset to maybe a, a cream. They're not big, even for most residential units, they can be out of the way, generally down the sidewalk of a building or around the back of the property. But if you have a flat roof, somewhere on the flat roof, if it was to go on a flat roof, we use some anti-vibration pads to reduce the, the, the noise transfer through, through the roof. It is always best to have them down the side of a property. Now, the only one requirement is that we have space around the unit for airflow. And generally, depending on the manufacturer and the size of the equipment, that gap will increase or decrease. But generally, as a rule of form, we like about 1.5 meters. But again, that can be reduced down. We will discuss that on the, on, the, on the survey. Going back to the trunking, this is an additional cost. So there are ways to, to dress the pipe work up, uh, which does of course incur additional, additional cost, but it's not excessive. That can also be discussed on, on the survey process. 
and within our website there's an Andy calculator and within that, that calculator you go through the, the quiz and it will give you the cost and there's the, the auxiliary parts there as well like Wi-Fi control should you request you want a, a, a more basic unit without the built functionalities like smart control times etc. Um, the condensate pumps again those are charged additionally and they, they're all similar in, in, in their, their noise, uh, their, their looks, their shapes and size. And again, that is just to remove the condensation away from the indoor unit when it's in cooling mode and removing the moisture out of the room. There are other settings on the units as well. So it's not just cooling, it's not just eating. There's also a fan mode on there. So you can just blow the air around a room as you would do with any conventional fan. There's also a dry option, which will help and remove the excess moisture from in the room. Those are all standard functionalities in any of the manufacturers, whether it's Mitsubishi, Daikin or Toshiba. On the completion of the installation, the engineers will show you how to work the controller, what to exp expect as you work through the, the functionality of the unit, the opening, the closing of the unit. They'll also they'll explain to you that, that part of the installation process, we will have to install electrical and electrical power supply to the unit. We use our own electricians and they're all uh, qualified to carry out these works and all works are all certified at the end. Now you may be wondering how long the electrics will be off for. The electrics are only off for a short period of time, maybe an hour at most, depending on the, 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 the works that are involved. But again, all that will be explained to you on the, on the day of, on, of survey. When the engineers leave you home, after they've showed you how to use the controllers, we'll make sure any mess is being taken with us. What the office will do also, we'll send you a, a document across with all your warranties and your commissioning certificates and a, a, a short video to say thank you and welcome to the club. We'll also send you an Andy video which will help you and guide you through the process of, of connecting the units up to the Wi-Fi and of course, we're always there on hand to offer any advice should you need it. So it's not that we don't want to do it, it's just that it's best that the customer goes through the journey and understands that process of setting the unit up. Because the likelihood is that you will change the Wi-Fi hub, you'll uh, take a longer contract take, technology changes all the time, and you don't want to be contacting MAC to have to go through this process every couple of years. So we try our best to guide you through that process so you, you, you can do it as and when you need to. But when the engineers leave, you will be left with a nice warm home if it's winter and if it's summer, then you'll be left with a nice cool home and you'll be the envy of your street. Thank you for watching the video. We're really grateful you took the time to, to watch this video and, and hopefully review a lot of content on the website. You'll be seeing a lot of us over the coming years and uh, please look out for future videos. There's lots of information again on our website in, in the learning area and, and, and within the blogs. And please sign up for the newsletters for the latest information on MAC.